want to like, share, subscribe. If you guys have purchased a reading, have donated to my page, if you've hit that notification bell, thank you so much. I appreciate you. If you have not, please do so that you know when I'm here. This energy could be masculine or feminine. Place it on whatever side you need to. Okay, this is for Leo. have Callie. I'm going to leave this down and then I'm going to look at it. Callie, endings and beginnings. The old must be released so that the new can enter. You guys have been keeping yourself attached to something that is not good for you. Someone that is not good for you. This person may have not shown up in your life. They may do everything except show up for you the way that they're supposed to. Kelly is here to break that bond, to break that connection, okay? She's tired of seeing you hurt. She's tired of seeing you wishing upon a star that this person is going to act right, okay? Um, you need to not fear the unknown. For some of you, you feel like this person is all that you've known and you just don't know what's next. Spirit is saying, don't fear it. Embrace it. Okay, what comes next? Know that you're transitioning. Embrace your deepest emotions too. Okay, just bring it up so that you can heal it and release it. Right? You have been resisting letting someone go. Okay, because you feel like they're your person. But Spirit said no. You, it's time to let this go. And intuitively you know it. Okay? You're very intuitive. You absolutely know it, okay? Yeah. With endings come new beginnings. So spirit will re reward you with a new beginning once you totally let go. Some of you are saying, I don't know how. Okay, I don't know what I'm going to do. Sedna, infinite supply. You are supply for today and all of your tomorrows. So if some of you are in a relationship with a person that you need to let go and you're leaning on them financially or mentally or physically, what have you, um, Spirit, is gonna, Spirit is saying that you have everything that you need here to do everything that you need to do. That you need not worry because everything is going to be okay. Once you take the steps that you need to take to move towards your new beginning, Spirit will walk with you and make sure you make it to the other side. Okay? That's beautiful. What is this, Leo? For some of you, you have healing hands. some of you, you have to put the brakes up and say stop for someone to stop treating you a certain way. Put up your boundary. What is this for Leo spirit? Yep, some of you need to change your perception. The spirit of the giraffe. Perception, foresight, advantage. Okay, once you change how you see a certain thing, then you're, you have the advantage of the situation, right? Because it's no longer you seeing this in a way where it keeps you stuck, it keeps you stagnant, right? You're able to see something here, okay? You guys have something that ended possibly in the winter time, and this is what you're getting the perception on. Spirit of the Grim Reaper. Death ending, winter endings, new beginning, beginning, something ended. You shifted a perception in the winter time, okay? Um, for some of you, you basically had some luck come to you, abundance in the summertime, or will have this coming in the summertime. For some of you, this is a child, spirit of the clover. Some of you have been working to have a child. This is a transformation for those that are not pregnant or not trying to have children 
going through some sort of transformation that will begin in the summer. What else for Leo? Anything else? Spirit? Okay, we got to, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so something is not going to look to you. Um, the way that you feel like it should look. So it says unrealistic de delusions, not as it seems. So something is not going to look like it's a commitment or can lead to a commitment, but it will. Contract, promise, commitment. Something's going to sneak up on you in the summertime, it's looking like. Absolutely. After something ended for you in the winter time. What is this spirit? What is this commitment for Leo? What is the commitment for Leo, please? Thank you. Two of Cups. Okay, so you're going to have... Uh, um, a mutual connection, okay? You're going to have someone coming towards you that um, is, is, is an emotional bond, um, a deep emotional bond, okay? Just two of cups, right? This is cancer energy. Um, you're going to have a friendship first that's going to develop into something else, and this is why it's not going to seem like it's going to elevate the way that it is and you may not see that this is a person for you but this absolutely could be a soulmate situation that turns into some sort of proposal or marriage right this is you forming this bond with someone for some of you this could also be someone from your past okay you have unrealistic delusions what is it yeah you know either you're still in your head about the old person okay thinking about it, obsessing over it, nine of swords, or when this comes, when this person comes, you're going to be in your head trying to figure out what they are or, or, or what they could be, okay? This could be keeping you up at night. <clears throat> yeah, your mind could be a little bit overwhelmed with this, nine of swords, Gemini energy, you know, just fear, anxiety. Right, some sort of uh, focus on the past that you've been going through. For some of you, you may be having heavy menstruals as well, or some sort of menstruation problem. For my females, please check it out. For for some of you, you're having body aches or uh, migraines as well with this. This could be keeping you up at night because you're just thinking too damn hard. Luck, abundance, summer. What is this? Luck, abundance, summer. What is it, spirit? The Leo. Luck, abundance, summer. The Leo. Okay, spirit don't want to give me nothing. What is this luck? Give me one card for Leo, please, spirit. Spirit of the clover, luck. Abundance, summer. Okay, we got one. Okay. Okay, so I have something that's coming in. It's three of swords, right? For me, this is a child. Oh, God. I don't like this. Okay, so three of swords, Libra energy, right? You could have some sort of communication breakdown, some sort of heartache, some betrayals, some sort of unhappiness, some grief going on with something that happens for you in the summertime. Something that's meant to make you happy here. Something that you feel you're lucky about. Um, hmm. 
For some of you, you're dealing with some sort of medical procedure or some sort of health issue. For some of you, you could be healing for losing a child in the summertime. I didn't want to say it, but it's here. I hate it. Or you could have lost a child in the winter. Taking how it resonates. What is this death ending winter spirit? We have four of wands. Some of you could have a person that passed away around you as well. And uh, you're going to find out that you're pregnant in the summertime. We're almost there. We're in May. Summer starts next month, people. What is it? June? June 21st? Something like that? Something like that. Okay. Be mindful. We have four of wands. This is Aries energy. Um, resting. Possible marriage here. New home. Celebration. Something that someone feels like needs to be celebrated. Yeah. This is something that was something that would bring a celebration that ended in the winter time. Some sort of reunion that didn't work out too. Because you felt like this was your person, that you fit with this person. Some sort of surprise or something. What was the perception for Leo? Okay. Queen of Pentacles. Sagittarius Capricorn energy. This is a mature female, someone that's financially independent. Um, no nonsense, a healer, home loving, creative, hardworking, likes to help other people. Okay? So this person, this is just verifying that this is the energy that you're showing up in as you're changing your perception of your life. Okay? Uh, I'm leaving this here because this one gave me just, I don't like the way this feels. You know, it's like good and bad. It's like, mm -mm. I don't like it. But just know that you guys are going through um, a transformation from the an ending and you're having new beginnings right now, okay? And everything that you need is going to be supplied for you even if you feel like you have nothing. Okay, Leos? Sending you love, sending you light. Take care. <laughs>